Welcome back to Russell Crow and TV, y'all. All right, man. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, man, but it seems like the baby is a target right now for some. I'm not sure what it is. I know the baby, he took sides with, uh, I don't know if it's young Dirk, uh, but I don't think that shit that serious, though. But right now, it seems like he being targeted by somebody major. I believe this is Rolling Stone, too. They, they released this uh, video. People saying it's never be before seen, but man, y'all mistaken. Anyway, this is the video right here of the baby shooting this this dude at Walmart. Even though you don't see the actual shooting on the video, but this is the video that some of y'all claim is never before seen. And the crazy thing is, some of y'all actually, like this title right here on this video, this shit said, was this really self-defense or murder? Nah, man. And I'm pretty sure this person, you know, most of y'all probably live like up top and shit. So y'all don't know about the laws down south, man. But down south, man, there's a thing called stand your ground. Okay? Stand your ground. Before I let this video play, it's called stand your ground. That means don't puss it out. You know what I mean? If somebody's coming to you, you know what I mean? In, a, in like a threatening manner and you got it on you, don't puss it out. Stand your ground. And the law got your back when you do that shit. And when you look at this video as a down south nigga, you know what I mean, who grew up in the stand your ground, you know, in, in who grew up in the stand your ground state, this is strictly self defense. If somebody at, is at a restaurant, I mean, if at a, a, a grocery store shopping with his girlfriend, baby mama, they're shopping, and they got a cart, and you approach these uh, these people, you and two other individuals, and you don't even have a shopping cart. You're not, like, why are you there if you're not shopping? You're not even putting shit together. Why are you there if you're not shopping? You feel me? These three dudes do not have a shopping cart. So right here at this scene when I'm about to press play, you will see, like, some kind of conversation take place. And dude, dude hands is in his, uh, his hoodie the whole time. Let me tell you something about, even though, like, you know, Carrying your strap in the hoodie is like old, but when you see somebody with both hands in the hoodie like that, or nine days when you see these little niggas with their hands in their little purse and shit like that, you know what I mean? That mean they carrying. So when you see this shit right here with the nigga in the blue, you know what I mean? That nigga is definitely carrying. And the baby beat the case. He wasn't even like, I bet, I don't even think he was even like prosecuted for the shit. You feel me? Because prosecutors found. Oh, uh, not prosecutors, but police at the scene found a gun next to the little nigga who got shot or whatever it is. You feel me? So, bam, it is what it is. I just had to run that down and let y'all watch the video because it's a lot of y'all out there, these new law students and shit like that who, you know what I mean, just talking about is this really self-defense? And like I said, I don't know what's going on, man, but somebody got a target on uh, on the baby's back and shit like that. But I'm press play, man. Let's go. Bam. So, the dude in the blue didn't get killed. It was the dude in the black. And they trying to say that, oh, and you know what I mean? Like, we weren't there, but we just talking about the law in, in, in this right here. You know what I mean? This ain't like throwing no, throwing no shade on nobody, not the dude who got killed or whatever it is. You know what I mean? We got to consider his family. This ain't none of that. They just, we just talking about the law in this situation. They're saying that uh, uh, he was just there trying to stop the fight. Are you sure? Let me tell you something. This should go hand in hand with this right here, right? If I go, right, commit a felony, and me and you, and doing that felony, right, you get killed, or I get killed, you know, either whatever it's like, if it's by police, you get charged with that murder, or I get charged with that murder. God forbid, knock on wood. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just giving you an example. So in other words, this dude was with the person who came to intimidate the baby. You feel me? He was there. So as far as the baby's concerned, that nigga ain't trying to stop no fight. 
He probably tried to jump in for his homeboy. You got to look at this shit from all different angles. You feel me? He ain't trying to stop this fight, man. He probably just trying to jump in for his homeboy. Watch this shit. That man is not thinking about he trying to stop a fight. You feel me? And in the eyes of the law, they ain't seen it like that either because they see these three people together on camera. You feel me? The eyes of the law is not seeing him as, you know, oh, he's a good Samaritan trying to stop a fight. Because if that was the case, they would have never been in that store in the first place. Y'all got to think about this. All these, uh, you know, people talking about is it really self-defense and shit like that. But let's play this shit again. I'm going to go back a little piece right before the scuffle. There go buddy right there in the black. And you see like a hand go up when he get to the girl. Oh, she put her hands in his face. And then you hear the shot go off. And then bro right there. So y'all tell me this, man. How is the baby supposed to know that the dude in the black was trying to break it up if that was the case? When they were all three together. I mean, it's, it's going to be hard to call, to call like murder on this one right here. And plus the video, this ain't no never before seen video. The judge, the jury, everybody don't seen this video. You know what I mean? The police department in Charlotte, wherever this shit happened at, they don't all seen this video. And they came to the conclusion that it wasn't even worth to take this man through pro uh, prosecution. Because I don't even think he got prosecuted for this shit. I mean, prosecuted. Excuse me, y'all. It's early in the morning. You know what I mean? But I don't even think he got prosecuted for this shit. You feel me? But yeah, though. That's my take on that, man. I think somebody out to get the baby. You never know. You know what I'm saying? But why bring up all these old videos? You feel me? Shit, we live in strange times, man. Like, the shit that's happening on the internet now. And then we got motherfuckers out here who can't even di differentiate the difference between what's real and what's fake anymore. You know what I mean? Like, but shit, it is what it is, man. Till next time, y'all.